Mega Wesley Reads Tetanus by Alfred Tennyson The woods decay The woods decay and fall The vapors weep their burden to the ground Man comes and tills the field and lies beneath And after many a summer dies the swan Me only cruel immortality Consumes I with her slowly in thin arms. Here, at the quiet limit of the wood, a white-haired shadow roaming like a dream, the ever-silent space of the east, far-folded mist and gleaming hulls of morn. Alas, for this grey shadow once a man, so glorious in his beauty in the church. Who madest him the chosen that, that he seems to his great heart no one other than a god? I ask this, give me more immortality than did his do grand mine asking with a smile, like wealthy men who care not how they give. But the strong hours indigent walk their wills, and beat me down, and merit, and waste me. And though they could not end me, left me maimed, to dwell in presence of immortal Yoth, the immortal age beside immortal Yoth. And all I was in ashes, can thy love, the beauty, make amends, do even now, close over us the silver star, the quiet shines in those tremulous eyes that fill with tears to hear me let me go take back the gift why should a man desire in any way to vary from the kindly race of men or pass beyond the goals of ordinance where all should pass as it most meet for all a soft air fans the cloud apart there comes a glimpse of that dark world where I was born. Once more the old mysterious glimmer steals from the pure browns and from their shoulders pure and bosom beating with a heart renewed. The cheek begins to read and draw the blossom. The sweet eyes breathing slowly close to mine. Error, yet they blind the stars and their wild team which love the yearning for the yoke, arise and shake the darkness from the loosened madness, and beat the twilight into flakes of fire. Lo, ever thus do growest beautiful in silence, then before time once were given, the spartans and their tears are on my cheek. Why wilt thou ever scare me with the tears and make me tremble lest a saint learn it? In days far off on that dark earth be true, the gods themselves cannot recall their griefs. Ay me, ay me, with what another heart in days far off and with what other eyes I used to watch, if I be he that watching the lucid outline forming round these saw the dim curls kindle into sunny rings, changed with the mystic change and felt my blood glow with the glow that slowly crimson all the presence and the portals while I lay, mouth, forehead, eyelids growing the while warm with kisses balmier than half opening buds of April and cold heart. Hear the lips that kiss the whispering, I knew no what of a wild and sweet, like that strange song I heard Apollo sing, like, while Eloni, like a mist, rose into towers. Yet hold me not for ever in thine east, how can my nature longer mix with tame? Coldly the rose shall shadows bath me cold, are all the lights and cold my wrinkled feet upon the glimmering their holds when the steam floats up from those dim fields about the homes of happy men that have the power to die and grassy barrows of the happier dead. Release me and restore me to the ground. 
Thou seest all things, thou wilt see my grave, thou wilt renieve the beauty born by morn. I earth in earth forget these empty carts, and the returning on thy silver wheels. Thank you for watching. If you want to hear more, just let me know in the comments below. <laughs>